Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about congenital uterine abnormalities on ultrasound. Congenital uterine abnormalities occur during embryonic life. These are types of Mullerian duct anomalies. These are transabdominal images of the uterus. On the left side is a transverse image of a normal uterus. We can see the normal myometrium and normal endometrial canal. This is the bladder anterior to the uterus. Over here is uterus didelphis in which there is a complete duplication of uterus. We see two separate uteri with two separate endometrial canals. There is no connection between them. Also there will be a large fundal cleft which will be present at this location. The fundal cleft is seen better on a 3D ultrasound coronal image. Here we have transvaginal images in transverse plane. This is the normal uterus and this is uterus didelphis. We can see two separate uteri and two separate endometrial canals. These are transverse images of the cervix taken transvaginally. Here is the normal cervix. And over here we have two separate cervices as well. Because there is complete duplication of uterus, so that's why there are two cervices. These are 3D reconstructed coronal images of the uterus. This view is best for diagnosing congenital uterine malformations. This is how a normal uterus looks like in a coronal 3D ultrasound image. And here we have two separate uteri. There is complete duplication of the uterus and cervix. In a bicornuate uterus, the uterine horns are widely divergent and there is usually a single cervix. The uterine contour is heart shaped in a bicornuate uterus. It is either heart shaped or concave shaped. There is a concave shaped indentation here. This is a 3D coronal view of a bicornuate uterus. We can clearly see a heart shaped uterine contour. The fundal cleft has a depth greater than 1 cm. The uterine horns are widely divergent. The angle between the uterine horns will be an obtuse angle. It will be greater than 105 degrees. Both uterine horns are connected to a single cervix. A unicornuate uterus will have only one uterine horn connected to only a single fallopian tube. It is difficult to see it on 2D ultrasound. We may see tilting of the uterus to one side in the pelvis. A unicornuate uterus has a banana shape. Unicornuate uterus is seen very well in a 3D coronal image. Only a single uterine horn is found. We can see the banana shaped uterus tilted to one side. In a septate uterus, the endometrial stripe is separated by a septum at the fundus. This is the septum in transverse view. You can see that it has divided the endometrial stripe. This septum is isoechoic to the myometrium. Here is another transverse image of a septate uterus. An isoechoic septum is seen separating the endometrium. Here we can see a septate uterus in coronal view. We can see a thick isoechoic septum in the middle of the uterine cavity. There will be an acute angle formed at the fundal indentation right here. And the depth of this indentation will be greater than 1.5 centimeters. The uterine fundal contour is convex shaped here. It can be flat as well. 
An arcuate uterus is the least serious type of congenital uterine abnormality. The transverse diameter of uterine cavity is increased and a small indentation is present at the fundus. It measures less than 1 cm. An obtuse angle is formed at the fundal indentation right here. An arcuate uterus is actually considered a normal variant of uterus and has very less association with reproductive failure. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.